Original Chicago DedSec has coordinated operations, everybody mostly working towards the same goal. Rumors say that the leaderless group actually has somebody upstairs calling the shots. The Council of Daves. I can't say if it's true or not, but somebody's focusing their efforts. I know because I studied everything about them, even ran a few of their ops. I wanted to emulate them, try to figure out what worked for them and apply it to us. But the members of our Bay Area dead set couldn't be more different from each other. Now, if there was a spectrum spanning anarchists to activists, we'd probably fill the whole damn thing. But there's one thing that unites the key crew. Each one of us has reason to hate big data, or more specifically, Bloom and its CTOS. I've been overseeing operations, making sure people get to where they need to be with the tools they require. I've got eyes on the big picture. The way I see it, I've lit the fuse. It's only a matter of time before Bloom feels the dead sec explosion. Dead sec found Josh. Hot sauce. Posting anti-CTOS videos on invite. Kid had a plastic Halloween mask over his face, a skull. But like the worst dollar store skull you could find? You can see his eyes through it. Big no-no when it comes to avoiding a profiler. He had a distorted voice, but he didn't change his speech patterns. See, Josh, he's high-functioning autistic, which means he's got a very specific way of talking. Sitara found him easily, but he wasn't at all what we expected. When you get down to pure coding, Josh operates on a higher level than the rest of us. We got to look at a CTOS profile and all kinds of nasty flags popped up. Emotionally challenged, unstable, even a low mental maturity score. He's none of those things, and he quickly became the activist soul of our group. He has a black and white way of seeing things, fair and unfair, which means he can be refreshing and often hilarious. We caught a glimpse of the damage CTOS dealt him. Rejected care programs, cut funding, overcharges. We offered to help him make things right. When we met Josh, he had the right intentions and the wrong approach, like a laser putting on a pretty light show instead of burning holes. If Bloom's system wants to make him unemployable, damn straight we're gonna snatch him up and point him right back at him. The wrench. <laughs> Man, what to say about this guy? Some freaky shit going on right there. I'd like to say he's actually a sensitive, charming guy beneath the harsh exterior. But I'm pretty sure he's a fucked up motherfucker all the way through. I don't even know who first recruited him. He just started showing up at local hacker spaces and building his tools of destruction. At first, I thought he was trying too hard. Like he was a FBI plant or something. But no agent is going to pull the kind of suicidal stunts this guy does. I think the truth is, Wrench doesn't care if he dies. But he's not going quietly. Even so, I'm glad we've got the Wrench on our side. One of the group's biggest problems is lack of GSD. Getting shit done. The wrench is pure GSD, and he brings his own sledgehammer. He's not some dumb thug either. I've seen some of his code. He's legit. Probably why he's interested in DedSec and not some street gang. You know what? I take that back. He might actually belong to a street gang. Who knows? One thing I do know about wrench, the man hates Bloom. I mean, hates them. I can't get the why from him. It's obvious he wears the mask to avoid facial recognition, but what's he hiding from? He's not saying. Let's talk about Satara. She's been driving DedSec in the Bay Area. The hackerspace? She's paying for it with uh, <laughs> borrowed money. <laughs> every DedSec poster, every flyer, that's Satara. She's even had a hand in our core tool set. Found one of the first zero days in CTOS 2.0. Some of the guys call her Madam President, but I see her as more of a pirate captain. She'll lead you to the treasure, but you piss her off, you're walking the plank. I had a long talk with her once. Found out where she gets her relentless drive. She's got rich parents back home in Calcutta, and I mean like drive a car in the house rich. They sent her to Ivy League schools. Yes, plural. Hoping to expand the dynasty, I suppose. But she didn't stick with it. She rejected their money, too. Everything she's got now was taken from people she says didn't deserve it. 
Sitar has seen her own relatives pulling strings, taking advantage. She says shit like that will never change because people at the bottom think they can't change it. And she says we're right at the heart of it now, with Silicon Valley pushing us towards a point of no return. Replacing elite individuals with unstoppable corporations. Bloom makes the top of her hit list. And she calls CTOS 2.0 their preemptive strike on any opposition. So we've been looking at this new guy, calls himself Retro. <laughs> now I like his style, spent some time in Oakland. In fact, that's where he earned some of his hacker cred. I read everything I could about it when it was going down. The Home Domain Center had to deal with Homeland Security. They rolled out cameras in Oakland and started stockpiling data on everybody. Somehow Retro got targeted by the thing, it profiled him based on his computer skills, and marked him as a prime suspect in the local high-tech robbery. The evidence was all digital, nothing put him at the scene of the crime. And the case <laughs> was a shit show, full of quotes from people who didn't know anything about technology, lies everywhere. False flags and fear-mongering. <laughs> they weren't about to admit to a flaw in their system. Retro got lucky. You got a judge that decided not to throw the book at him. So he ended up with community service. He says it wasn't a big deal because he got to work with kids. Taught them the truth about the system in place. Probably the best lesson they've ever learned. But he knew he was going back after the HDC. He data-mined them, hacked into the accounts of their key members exposed every little thing that showed just how corrupt the system was. A huge victory, right? Yeah, maybe not so much. Oh, he spanked the HDC, no question. Got the program shut down hard. So where did all those cameras in Oakland go? They're still there. But guess who owns them now? Bloom. They're part of the CTOS, being used to track and profile people, just like the HDC was doing. And now Retro's got himself a nasty profile on record. We think he's going to be eager to do something about it and can't wait to see him work. My bet? He's prime dead sec material. What's up, Ray? Joshua picked up something strange from the Galilee hack. It's code, but the comments are in Chinese. Aw, uh, tell me the Chinese didn't hack the satellite backbone already? Not the satellite. The submarine cables connecting China and the U.S. Hmm. That's not even the interesting drop your pants part. Bloom's been monitoring the hack. Joshua says the hackers are stealing data and using it to make a mint on the New York Stock Exchange. The hackers turned inside a trader, so it's not the first time it's happened. Yeah, we'll get this. The program the hackers are using? Drum roll, Josh, please. Pattern recognition software. Sure as shit looks like bellwether to me. And Bloom knows? So why are they sitting on it? Well, that's why we're talking. We have nothing solid to go on, except our Chinese hackers use their access to pre-clear a cargo ship landing in San Francisco. Their shipping containers just arrived at the board. I'll check it out. Yo, Sitara, what's the container number I'm looking for? LV-4. 
Oh, seriously? You testing my geek foo? A bit, yeah. It starts with S-I-B-U-707. <laughs> okay, I see it. But I got other containers in the way. Gonna have to find a way to unblock it. Calm down, calm the fuck down. Riddle me this. Who around here is Chinese and deals in human trafficking? Anti-shoe boys for sure. Yeah. Well, it's some high-end human smuggling like I ain't never seen before. His container is nicer than my last apartment. I'm sending you a picture. Got it. Who is he and why does he have a bloody nose? Noodle Translate isn't his friend. And he's not your run-of-the-mill cargo either. Not sure what I can do with it. Let's see if you can match his face online. My guess? He's got an education if they went to all this trouble. Right. I'll start with Chinese schools and get back to you if I find something. Okay. Oh, and by the way, uh, welcome to America. Marcus? I found your guy. What you got? Graduate of Shanghai Jiao Tong University. He's got a double master's in statistic and business. He's a quant. They definitely need him to number crunch that stock market data, which means the Auntie Shoe Boys are in the business of insider trading. I have a contact in Chinatown who's connected with the Auntie Shoe Boys. I'm sending you his coordinates. Maybe he can help you get answers. We've got some amazing daily specials. Why not give it a try? Huh? That's oh, a Hey, you know this guy? Yeah, you're just full of attitude, aren't you? Look, I know the Auntie Shoe Boys are bringing them in. I'm trying to find out why. No, I don't fucking know him. We don't all know each other. Satara said you could help me out. Give me something here. Why didn't you say so? Auntie Shoe has an office in the import export company on Gold Street. They keep records there. But you tell Satara this makes us even. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks. Heads up, I'm checking up on a lead in Chinatown. I think it's an Auntie Shoe safe house or something. I'll let you know if I find anything. Okay, keep an eye out for anything we can use related to the stock market hack. Oh, shit! 
911. What's your emergency? You need to come out now! There's a shooting going on! Can you hear me? I need to... Squad, we have alerts of a hostile in your area. Diagnostics complete. Restoring network access now. Now this is promising. Let's see what you're hiding. Got anything good? Documents. You read Chinese? Nah, but I do read maps and diagrams. Maps and diagrams of what? Looks like a floating server farm. Computer nodes, generators. They're in international waters somewhere near the China-US cable. The Pacific Fleet's been chasing boats and submarines away from that thing for years. But that's a lot of wet to cover. Now when they also feed you coordinates. Thank you, Auntie Shoe Boys. Great. Now get out of there. Hack the barge, get an inside peek, and maybe find out why Bloom is letting someone use Bellwether on the stock market. Only problem is, it's out of range. Okay. The barge won't be linked to CTUS, and she'll use Chinese protocols. But I've got a fix for you. Easy peasy. I'll patch you in on my side. Just get your phone to a clear location. I'm sending you coordinates to a lighthouse in Marin. Make sure you look around. The view's spectacular, hacker.
Okay, I made it and I'm good to go. Hey, Ray, no lie about the view. I do not lie, my friend. Uh-huh. You two play nice. You ready, Ray? Yep. Protocols are ready for you. I'm gonna see what's up with that barge. What's the plan? If I read the blueprints right, and I know I did, it's got cameras that I can hack. I'm going for an inside peek. And then what? Hijack the shit out of it. As soon as I figure out how. That's crazy. I love it. I want their main server, and that means bringing it closer to us. I'm going inside. fucking around here. I see a lot of top-end hardware. I also see an admin terminal, but I'll need to snoop around and find some login credentials. Hey, hey now. Someone here likes toys. Josh toys or Zatara toys? The kind that needs batteries. The kind I can control remotely. Now you're just playing with me. <laughs> I think I found the password. You read Chinese. It's a numerical sequence. Can't hurt to try. Now this room looks important. This is why we love people who check that little remember me box. I found a login name. I think I have what I need to access the ship systems. Sweet. Get yourself back to the admin terminal. I'm in. Any idea how you're bringing the barge in closer to shore? You should totally spoof the fuel gauges. Make them think they have a leak. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Okay, I spiked the fuel gauges. Made them think they're low on fuel. They're coming in to gas up. Nice. We've got a boat waiting for you at the Marin docks. <laughs> That's a fucked up language. No wonder it died out. Even the public's in. No stop. He's high, right? That's yeah. what you do. He looks at you. Let's see. What? Like this? Not. You know. 